was my son. And today is his birthday. up camp counselors the nightmare is back and i know you guys have been waiting for this video for me to do but i was on vacation but now we are back we're going to be talking about the news that we got for friday the 13th and that's going to be of course the crystal lake series that's going to be coming to peacock now this is finally awesome that uh, you know i'm excited to actually sit down and be able to talk about this with you guys there's so many things that we can get out of this series. Now, I know most fans are going to be wanting a movie. You know, I would like a movie too. But until they get those sticks out their asses, you know, we're, we're going to have to take what we can get. And, of course, that is going to be a series on Peacock. Now, the go cool thing about the series is that they can touch on every single thing they want to from the Friday the 13th franchise. Just because TV rights and movie rights are totally different uh, entities. But the fact that we are pretty much getting a prequel series to Friday the 13th, which that can only mean one thing, and that is, of course, our dear mother Pamela. Now, the cool thing about Pamela is that if you guys watch Camp Nightmare, which is the Friday the 13th podcast that I have here on the channel every Friday, you know, we've already touched on so many things with Pamela, from the Pamela tapes, from the video game, uh, all the way up into just really deep diving into Pamela's character and, and why she did the things that she did. So, you know, to start off with a prequel, I think that is the best bet when it comes to Friday the 13th. You actually have a very clean canvas here that you can kind of just do things the way you want to do. Like, you could either, A, do a prequel series and then it leads into the movies that we all know and love now. Or you do a prequel series that leads into pretty much our own take on or a new story uh you know of friday the 13th so i think that's really cool you know especially that we get to finally see pamela and everything that caused her to actually fully do that mental breakdown and and become killing and and just take out those poor 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 camps uh, camp counselors over at uh, camp crystal lake so you know it's gonna be really cool you know we get a taste of it like i said in the pamela tapes in the video game as to, you know, what was going through her mind, you know, dealing with the police and the searching for Jason. Uh, I mean, a lot of that stuff you could picture in your head just by listening to the tapes. But the fact that, you know, we're going to get a prequel series and it may not go off of the tapes. It may be like their own, you know, unique spin on it on, you know, Pamela and what happened. But I think it's going to be very interesting because we do know it's going to be about Pamela, about, you know, before Friday the 13th, the original movie. You know, just everything that we see Pamela go through and things like that. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be wanting to see Jason. Uh, it has been mentioned that we are going to see different, I guess, versions of Jason. But, you know, the way I look at it, we could see, obviously, a human young Jason before he drowned. Um, anywhere to where after he drowned. And even to, like, a ghost version of Jason that's that maybe Pamela sees or, you know, that Pamela talks to. Or that talks to her as we know that, you know, she hears her son you know, kill her mommy and, you know, all that good stuff. So it's going to be really interesting to see a younger Jason or a human Jason, you know, as a matter of fact, and, and to kind of see everything that happens. I mean, we might even get Pamela and Jason before he even drowned. It might be just that type of prequel where we see Jason and, you know, when he was younger and with his mom to kind of make that impact a little bit stronger to show that relationship between Pamela and Jason before Jason met his demise or, or you know, supposedly met his demise when he drowned in Camp Crystal Lake. So there are so many different aspects and avenues that we can go with this TV series. You know, I'm really excited. I would love to see kind of like Pamela and Jason's relationship prior to the drowning. And then from there, once Jason drowns, because we know it's coming. We know it's, you know, obviously a prequel. But to just see Pamela kind of go through the, the heartache, the pain, the struggle. Like what happened between Jason's drowning and to where she fully snapped in the original Friday the 13th. So many different answer, uh, questions and answers that we can get out of this series. I'm excited about it, and uh, I hope you guys are too. And, you know, the good thing about streaming is that, you know, you can get away with a lot of uh, a lot of crazy things, whether it's nudity, uh, blood and guts and gore and all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm actually anxious to see what they can bring to the streaming service. I mean, I've seen countless things on Netflix that are really graphic when it comes to the nudity and, and the gore. And uh, we all know what Terrifier 2 has brought to the table just by being an independent movie is that there's no limitations to anything. And it's the same thing with the Friday the 13th franchise, especially going to streaming. You know, you don't have to have those, those like, frames or those limits as to what you can do when it comes to nudity, gore, 
you know, and things like that. And the fact that they can touch on everything from the uh, from the Friday the 13th franchise in the, the TV show is going to be absolutely crazy. You know, the fact that they said, if we want to go to space, we can go to space. If you want to go to hell, we could go to hell. We can pretty much touch whatever we want. So I think, honestly, this is the way to go when it comes to the TV series, especially if the lawsuit is causing, you know, uh, tie-ups with, with movies and things like that, you know. Unfortunately, I, you know, I like I said, I would love to have a Friday the 13th movie on the big screen. Jason deserves to be seen on the big screen. But until they figure all that mess out, you know, un, you know unfortunately, we got to take what we can get. And that is the TV series. So I have high hopes for it. You know, Chucky seems to be a good TV show right now. You know, I it's got its little, you know, ups and downs with it. But nonetheless, Chucky's doing pretty good as a TV show. So let's hope Friday the 13th can do just the same. Uh, you know, bring Jason back, bring Pamela back. You know, I'm anxious to see where they're going to go with it. You know, Brian Fuller, you know, we got the mind of Hannibal. The Hannibal TV show was really good. Uh, so, you know, I, I I would say I have high expectations for the show. And, and you know, I do have high hopes. And I, I really do feel that it's going to be successful. Because at the end of the day, fans want Friday the 13th. We want Jason. We want Pamela. We want all that good stuff. So I think as long as they, uh, you know, make it interesting and you know, so and stick to somewhat of the of the lore, but at the same time writing their own story of Friday the Thirteenth, I think is going to be absolutely crazy. So, yeah, that's my video, guys. Just want to talk about it real quick. I'm not going to dig into everything else because by now you guys should know about what's going on and and who's doing what. But I just kind of wanted to talk about the series. Uh, that's coming on Peacock, and you know, like I said, Crystal Lake I think is going to be phenomenal. I cannot wait till the show starts, so that way we can break down each episode and we can speculate. It's just it's going to be a whole bunch of fun for Friday the Thirteenth fans, and even uh, on Camp Nightmare, the Friday the Thirteenth podcast that I have every Friday. So it's going to definitely be awesome. So you guys. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Consider becoming a member of the channel just like these awesome people here on screen. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here, guys. Hope you enjoy your day. And I will see you guys, as always, in the next video. Take it easy, be safe, and remember, be the strange you wish to see in this world. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.